In this video you will see ingenious ways to make your own diagnostic equipment. These procedures and plans have been tried and built, but given the nature of the detailed work needed, we make no guarantees. It is ultimately up to you, a skilled technician or DIY genius to make it work. Drive-by wire motor actuator controller Warning, warning, warning. Do not use the drive-by wire motor actuator controller with the engine on. The drive-by wire motor actuator controller is meant to be used with key on engine off. Any other use is at your own risk. Gone are the days when the throttle was controlled by a cable. The throttle cable has been omitted, in favor of the throttle actuator or drive-by wire throttle control. The vast majority of throttle actuator control motors are the DC duty cycle control type. In other words, the ECM controls a two-terminal DC motor, by way of a duty cycle signal. On duty cycle signals, the frequency and voltage remains constant. What changes, is the positive crest of the waveform. This means that on a square wave, the positive crest changes width. The wider the positive width, the wider the throttle actuator opening. In today's throttle control diagnostics, it is important to be able to actuate the throttle for various reasons. We'll go deeper into using this gadget later. But, suffice it to say that, the drive-by wire motor actuator controller is used to diagnose the multiple throttle position sensor inputs, to clean the throttle body, to determine if motor is binding and to diagnose any of dozens of issues with an electronic throttle actuator system. But first, a word on how the electronic throttle works. The throttle plates are always being forced down by an internal spring. This spring and gear mechanism can start to bind from wear and tear. If that happens, the ECM goes into limping mode, reduces injection pulse, and turns the engine into a virtual lawnmower. It doesn't matter if the throttle sticks in the open position. With injection cut off, your car isn't going anywhere. The drive-by wire motor actuator controller creates the duty cycle control signal to act against the spring load. So, in slow motion, the pulse pulls open the throttle valve, then it supposedly closes again due to the spring action, then the second pulse pulls it open again, and it closes again. But, in reality this happens so fast, that the throttle valve stays open a specific amount of degrees. The wider the duty cycle pulse, the wider the opening. The drive-by wire motor actuator controller works as follows. The whole drive-by wire motor actuator controller is centered around the SG3525 microcircuit. This is a pulse width modulation chip. It is used by many automotive and industrial manufacturers for controlling motors. The SG3525 then controls the base of the transistor, BUK953555 MOSFET driver. The transistor controls the throttle motor itself, depending on the aperture control. The drive-by wire motor actuator controller also has minimum and maximum controls. These are set once, and control the lowest and highest duty cycle possible. Most drive-by wire motors don't work well below 20%, hence this control is set to provide a minimum. You also don't want to feed 100% duty cycle to the throttle motor all the time, which can cause it to fail. Finally, there's a frequency control as well. This control, you also set only once. Remember, duty cycle has nothing to do with frequency. On electronic throttle control the frequency stays constant, 
or at about 200 to 400 hertz. This control is set only once and then left alone. All the aperture is done with the aperture control, which varies the output from the minimum and maximum, according to these said controls. We'd like to reiterate the previous warning. Do not use the drive-by-wire motor actuator controller with the engine on. The drive-by-wire motor actuator controller is meant to be used with key on engine off. Any other use is at your own risk. The drive-by-wire motor actuator controller is a sturdy and tough unit, which will give you many years of service.